Alright, I'm going to show you how to install the OpenZO ROM to your Zio phone. It's pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. All the files that you're going to need, I've put links in the description so you can get those on the XDA form. Um, there's instructions there also if you need them. First off, what we're going to do, I've already got it pulled up. We're going to download the Clockwork Mod Recovery Pack. It's a zip, zip file. What you want to do is extract it to your desktop like I did here. Go back to the Zio ROM page and download the actual ROM. That's also a zip file, but you don't want to uh, extract it. Go ahead and just save the file to your desktop. Leave it as leave it zip. Next, what you want to do is take your CWM folder, copy it, go to my computer, local disk C, users, mine says Anthony, whatever your computer's name is, go to it and just paste it right here. I've already got it in this folder so I don't need to do it again. Okay, the same thing pretty much with this file but it's going to be a little different um, this file here what you what you're going to do is connect your phone to your computer and when you do that it's going to pop up and say USB debugging connected and then under that it's going to say USB connected go into USB connected and turn on your USB storage once you do that you'll get a little message popping up on your computer like this when it comes up your removable disk you want to go down to open folder to view files and you want to copy and paste your OpenZO ROM zip folder into your SD card folder I've already got it in there see right here okay once you do that you can pretty much close all that out next part is where everybody was getting confused at it's pretty simple um, it just the thought of using command prompts kind of kind of iffy people are you know not sure how to use it anyway go to your command prompt I've got it here or you can go into your all programs accessories command prompt and then if you go back to the XDA forum the first box here it's a CD CWM you want to type that in your command prompt first okay it'll bring you to this directory what you want to do now the next box down here you want to type this in or copy it and paste it to command prompt but do not hit enter yet before you hit enter you want to power down your phone you can leave it connected, you're going to need to leave it connected wait till it completely shuts down still waiting for it to shut down Alright, once it shuts completely down, you want to hold. You want to go ahead and hold your call but green call button and your red power button both in at the same time until you get the Kyocera logo that pops up and the fast boot uh, letters. Well, it should say fast boot at the top and then you get the white letters. Once it does that, go ahead and hit enter. Once it goes through on your command prompt, your phone should go to the Clockwork Mod Recovery menu. Once it does that, you've got a few options here. Go to your phone and scroll down to Install Zip from SD Card. It should be the fifth one down, fifth option down from the top. Once you do that, you're going to have four more options. Uh, go to the second one and choose zip from SD card 
and if you scroll all the way to the bottom you should see your OpenZO ROM zip folder go ahead and click on that when you click on that it'll come up and say confirm install this cannot be undone everything should be no all your options should be no except for the yes and next to it it'll say install OpenZO ROM with your zip file go ahead and click on that let your phone flash it takes about five or six minutes uh, when it's done it'll say flash complete what you want to do then is hit your arrow back button your touch button all the way back to the clockwork mod main screen and your first option it'll say reboot system now and go ahead and click that after that it'll boot up and uh, I didn't have to hit uh, star 228 just to refresh all your settings I did it anyway but it worked fine without doing it I would do it just to be safe and the instructions on the site uh, you can learn how to use it super uh, or the let's see the set PC right here so you can never clock to make it faster too you can go ahead and go through all that and read the directions how to do that but basically that's it how to flash it over to the the new custom ROM hope it helps everybody thanks